in this part of the video we'll be talking about one very important concept vectors and vector space and most of us especially those who are from science background they already have some knowledge about uh, the vectors you know because uh, usually we learn these in high school maths you know so we'll be just refreshing our um, knowledge about vectors so we are already aware of scalars you know so scalars are um, kind of some numbers that uh, you can stick to explain something you know for example a person's height okay so a person so height is 1.7 meter okay so this is uh, one scalar explaining the the person and you add on so um, height then weight uh, then how much salary that person uh, gets so these are actually characteristics uh, of that person so when you actually use uh, multiple uh, features to define that person then you, we have to follow certain formats you know for example here we put those in um, third bracket um, height weight and salary uh, and then we close the back bracket so this is your first definition or maybe data science definition of vector you know uh, but we have to remove the units okay so the same person that we are talking about and he's your heart his definition through a vector is following this format okay so this is the height uh, this is the weight and this is the salary okay so a vector is representation of a person through some attributes okay height weight and salary okay so once we define that, then all the person need to follow the same format, you know. So here we have a, a few different other persons. So this is the first person, second person, and then we have a few different persons, the, but the height should be the first column, weight should be the second column, and salary should be the uh, third column. So that is the simplified definition of vector in our case, okay. So we can see that uh, this guy is the um, shortest and uh, with the least weight and this one has the highest weight and highest height um, but the, with the least salary you know so again uh, you can think it as a table load definition why we have also learned in another video when we were discussing the um, distance metric uh, these data points because these are on Cartesian planes uh, this is the definition of vector uh, characterizing that particular point you know so here each point has two features x and y okay i will be sharing uh, some reading materials so if you go to books then you will get a more formal definition of vectors uh, vector is an ordered interval should follow the same format okay so a1 should be at a1 and a n. and then we have a row vector so your values are actually um, indexed uh, through the columns so first column second column and third column or you can it can be a column vector so now the index is at the row level first row second row and third row but this is one vector so as i was mentioning that uh, the definition of vector is slightly different in case of our data science activities you know because uh, if you go to physics definition of vector then they will tell that a vector should have a value and also the direction okay but our case as simple as it is you can think it as a record in your uh, table okay a row or maybe a column in your table okay so that's our vector and the entire space we are calling it as a vector space okay but in vector space all the um, vector operations like the mathematical operations are applicable okay i'll be showing some examples because for those folks that uh, may be coming from a non-science background that will be helpful you know so so one vector is uh, x1 x2 and xn and then y, another is y1 y2 and yn so you can sum those vectors so that will be the element wise sum okay so for example here i have a column vector here I have another column vector if i sum then i will have just 2 plus 0 is 2 6 plus 3 is 9 and minus 4 plus 1 is minus 1 okay so that will be result of the summation operation or maybe vector addition operation okay uh, what is the zero vector all the elements are zero okay that is the 
origin of the coordinates okay then more importantly because um, in another video we were looking at how to estimate the cosine distance so that requires some operation for example we call inner product or dot product so dot product of x and y uh, x and y being two vectors is their element wise multiplication so, and then you sum over you know so for example here 4 four one seven and zero two three so you multiply four zero one two and seven three and then you do the sum you know so that will give you the dot product okay the two vectors are orthogonal if we do a dot product and the value becomes zero so one thing to notice that when you do the dot product you have on a scalar you know so dot product of two vectors gives you a scalar meaning just one real number okay so if two vectors you do the dot product and the value is zero then that means that two vectors are actually orthogonal meaning that their angle between two vectors is 90 degree okay then the norm okay so here you have you can see that you have a dot product so you are having a dot product with the same vector okay so you x is the vector uh, anyway i forgot the transpose operation so the tra so the transpose operation is that you transform your column vector into a row vector okay or the vice versa okay so you just uh, change from row to column vector you know so that's how we do the transpose operation okay so you transpose the same x vector and multiply so using the dot product so dot product meaning so in other way you can read it the squaring of each axis of that vector and then you sum and you take the root okay so you do the dot product with itself and take the square root so that is the vector norm okay i want to just quickly go to the place where we did the um, cosine distance so if you recall cosine distance between vector a and b is the dot product and then you have a, a norm of a and multiply by the norm of b and then you divide the, the um, numerator okay so now you know how to do uh, cosine distance calculation